Ubuntu versus Arch Linux. I actually get this question asked a fair bit, uh, not just online, like between my, my friends and things like that, because I do advocate for Arch Linux. So thank you for the question that I, um, well, the request from Citizen. Uh, um, so here we go. Why do I um, prefer Arch Linux over um, Ubuntu? So let me give you a backstory. Actually, backstory, back, 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 back to the story. I used to be a Debian maintainer, not a developer. I used to be a maintainer for WordPress packages and some other Python packages in Debian. And Debian actually pretty much goes into what Ubuntu is. So I'm very familiar with Debian packages. I was maintaining Debian package for years and years. And um, uh, during that time, I was involved in the Debian community and such and so forth. I was, I had my blog syndicated. Probably I'm still, am I still syndicated? <laughs> I am still syndicated. <laughs> Uh, on the planet Debian, and um, yeah, I I blogged about how I don't like this GPG stuff, and I probably focused on the wrong things here, but um, what I was trying to say is that I wanted a model of developing packages where where package where the packages uh, got sort of peer reviewed, a bit like. Wikipedia, so the so so you make a package, you're packaging a, a, something in the in Linux distribution, and like say I do it, and then some guy has to review it, and then maybe another guy reviews, it, and then it becomes part of the distribution. That's what I wanted, and the Ubuntu, uh, well, with Debian, I think the way that they do it is that they sort of like. Um, they sort of train. They test you and sort of train you and mentor you so that you're a, become a package uh, dev uh, a maintainer or Debian developer, as they call it, and and then you get your GPG key signed and you become trusted. And I think that's the wrong way of doing it. I would rather see um, a constant review process. And I didn't like the bureaucracy and the the barrier to entry kind of because becoming a Debian developer. I mean, when I was doing it, it took like seriously a long time, like way more than a year. So, so I didn't like that. And I wrote this sort of blog post in frustration and I got, oh my God, I actually got freaking hate mail for the first time in my life. Um, I think I probably edited this to say what I was really meaning, but um, I can't really remember what I exactly posted. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm vindicated because a couple of years later, I wrote this back in 2006, which is like eight years ago. I, a few years ago, uh, a, a few years later from this post, I think Arch, Arch Linux like broke into the scene. And Arch Linux um, has this wonderful thing called the AUR, which is pretty much what I envisioned, but someone uh, went 10 steps ahead of me and actually implemented it. Uh, probably with no idea that I had the thought. Um, and the idea with AUR is that you can actually just, re it takes like a few seconds to register, you log in, and you can start contributing packages. It's freaking amazing. It's just like, you know, you can come a developer within like, uh, a, like a contributor to the, to, to the Arch Linux distribution within like 10 minutes. I mean, that's the way it really should be. Um, so that's... Um, but furthermore, Arch Linux has some excellent other features. Like, for example, uh, let me go. Uh, let me go. Just test that the, my editing is going right. <laughs> yeah, this looks fine. So, the great thing about um, with Arch Linux packages is that they use like a very sort of simple shell-like syntax to create the package. This is a very complicated package. This is based, this is Firefox. This is as complicated as it really kind of gets in some ways. And I think this is a lot clearer. In the Debian world of packaging, there is like so many different ways of doing it. Uh, I can't even remember that. I just blocked them out. There's a, there's a million of right, different ways you can do this like Debian rules. Oh my gosh, I was, I was trying to check out, check out, um, 
uh, you just have to trust me, right? There is a million different ways, and even like the, probably the best way of doing it using Joey Hess's uh, Deb Helper is really ugly and relies on Pearl, and it's just it's just an almighty mess. So that so that's why I really like um, um, ArchNX packages because the the packaging is simpler, smaller, and they generally have a philosophy of just being like simpler and more frugal, and um, which which is which um, which uh, which is like the suckless philosophy, um, which I'm a big fan of suckless. So so in my opinion, Arch Arch Linux is kind of suckless. It subscribes to the similar philosophy. Um, I, I mean, it's not, it's not, it's per, not perfect. It's not perfect. I, I, uh, there are some weird things about it. Another reason why I like um, I like Arch Linux is that it, it was. This is controversial. It was the first one to use System D, or I think I, it's fair to say that. Um, and system D is a very controversial thing, but I've actually enjoyed being a pioneer user of it, and I think it's really helped me. And it, it's fair to say it's not controversial now. System D is pretty much the baseline for Linux distributions, um, and obviously Ubuntu slash Debian spent years and had terrible amount of discussions about the whole thing, and rightly so. But at the same time. I don't like the bureaucracy, and Debian ha definitely had that bureaucracy, and so did Ubuntu. And finally, what else do I love about um, uh, Arch Linux? Is the documentation, I dare say, is the best. It is the best. Uh, it's usually of the sort of media wiki form. Um, it has a forum which is pretty good, even though I... My my little rants get sort of cut down there, um, but the community is really 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 awesome, and the Debian community just feels a little bit negative at times, a little bit. I mean, Debian is um, a bigger community, and a lot of people. The trouble is, everyone in the Debian community has their own little use cases and domains, and like. If you, like for me, I'm like a, I guess, an everyday uh, uh, desktop user of, of a Linux distribution. If I go onto Debian and I'm using probably Unstable and I ask questions about it, people like probably say, oh, you shouldn't be using Unstable, you should be using Stable. You know, there's just there's so much with Debian. Ubuntu solves a lot of these problems by having more, way more up-to-date packages, but I way... I way prefer the Arch Linux um, release model, which is a rolling release model. So all my software is like the stable releases from upstream with as little involvement of package maintainers as possible. That's the philosophy. Sometimes Ubuntu and Debian makes quite big uh, changes to uh, to packages. You know, they they want to achieve some, some, some sort of thing. Oh, what in earth? Why is it so slow? Um, so... So yeah, Archlinux is lightweight, um, the system D documentation, any documentation around here is pretty good. Actually, to be honest, the you can get into little flight, fights like Wikipedia style. I do find the install, installation of this thing pretty bad, and that's why I created an installation video. And the minute I try to rip out stuff, so what I'm trying to say is Arch Linux is not perfect, you know, over time, since it's it's a young community now, but you know it's getting older, and um, yeah, there's going to be more craft and more um, pendants joining the community. And I would have loved to have gone to this installation guide and really like removed all the crap and focus maybe on just on the system D and boot CTL. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I made some changes and they got undone. So I felt like um, I can't be bothered anymore. I just create my own do uh, stuff, and hopefully, people who are interested will Google it or go to my YouTube and find out about it. Sorry, I've been rambling, but yes, those are the reasons why I prefer Arch Linux. Um, easier barrier to e uh, entry for for for, for people interested in int uh, contributing packages. The package build being so much better than Debian rules. Oh my gosh, it is ridiculous how much better it is. And um, the community, 
and the documentation. So that's that's why I like Arch Next. So please, please give it a try. Um, it will it will seriously get you um, like ramped up on System D. That's for sure, which is damn useful in this in this uh, in this new Linux world that we're living in. Okay, guys, if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching.